What's up, radio fans? Big Al here. It's Thursday, September 24th, 2020. And I am very, very late coming with my week three re preview. So let's jump right into it. Um, First off, you like what I'm doing? Go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment in the comment section and hit the bell twice to be notified anytime I drop a new video. All right. The um, point spreads and over-under totals are courtesy of 506sports.com and all the information about where each Sunday afternoon game is airing. That's courtesy of... No, the um, point spreads and over-under totals are from the Sports Alerts app. And 506sports.com is the website where I get all the maps for all the games. I will leave you a link for 506 Sports in the description in this video. Alright, so here we go. Starting off with the game that will kick off week 3 in a little less than 3 hours. The 0-2 Miami Dolphins, fresh off of Sunday's loss at home against Buffalo. They traveled to Jacksonville to face Gardner Minshew the second. And the 1-1 one and one in-state rival Jacksonville Jaguars, fresh off a 33-30 loss in Tennessee just four days ago. This game is tonight at 8.20 Eastern on the NFL Network. Announcers are Joe Buck and Troy Aikman. Line as of 1.30 Eastern or 1.30 Pacific time, I should say. On Thursday afternoon is Jacksonville minus three over under is 49. I'm taking the Jaguars to win this game 27 to 17. Hence, they are not tanking. And I also have Jacksonville covering the three points and this game finishing under the total. Now it's Sunday afternoon. Got the Chicago Bears at the Atlanta Falcons. Bears are off to their first 2 1 0 start since 2013 after they defeated the New York Giants in a defensive battle. While the Falcons come in at 0 2, they blew a 20 point lead in Dallas last week and lost to the Cowboys 40 39. So this team has scored 64 points in the first two games and they have yet to win. Alright, so this game is Sunday, 1 o'clock Eastern on Fox. The announcers are Kenny Albert and Jonathan Velma. In addition to this game being broadcast on the local Fox stations in Chicago and Atlanta, WFLD and WAGA respectively, this game will also be seen in Charlotte, Detroit, Grand Rapids, Green Bay, Indianapolis, Jacksonville, Kansas City, Louisville, Memphis, Nashville, New Orleans, Orlando, Tampa, St. Pete, among the major markets. Other markets receiving this game include Bismarck, Fargo, Sioux City, Duluth, Madison, Des Moines, the Quin the Quad Cities, Cedar Rapids, Omaha. Topeka, Wichita, Baton Rouge, Shreveport, Jackson, Mississippi, Tupelo, Mississippi, Knoxville, Chattanooga, Birmingham, Lexington, Kentucky, Evansville, Fort Wayne, South Bend, Flint, Springfield, Illinois, Peoria, Illinois, Greenville, Spartanburg, Columbia, Myrtle Beach, Charleston, South Carolina, as well as Columbia, South Carolina, Augusta, Georgia, Savannah, Tallahassee, and Fort Myers. All right. I'm picking the Falcons to win this game 24-20, but I wouldn't be surprised if Chicago won. And I have Atlanta covering the three points and this game finishing under the 47.5 point total. Next up, number one draft pick Joe Burrow and the 0-2 Cincinnati Bengals travel to Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia to face Carson Wentz. And the 0-2 Philadelphia Eagles. Now the winner of this game will get their first win. The loser will start 0-3. And, and if you start 0-3, you can pretty much forget about making the playoffs at this point. 
This game will kick off at 1 o'clock Eastern Time Sunday on CBS. The announcers are Spiro Ditas and Adam Archuleta. And this game will be seen primarily in Southern Ohio and Eastern Pennsylvania. In addition to Cincinnati and Philadelphia, this game will also air in Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Lexington, Kentucky. The current point spread as a 1.30 Pacific time Thursday is Philadelphia minus 4.5 over under set at 46.5. I'm going to take the Eagles to win this game 28-21 because Cincinnati is a team that they should beat. And if they end up losing this game and fall, and fall to 0-3, you got to think that Doug Peterson's seat will be getting hot. I also have the Eagles covering the four and a half points, and I have this game finishing over the 46 and a half. Staying in the Keystone State, you got the 2 0 Pittsburgh Steelers, fresh off of Sunday's win against the Broncos. They're home against Deshaun Watson and the 0 and 2 Houston Texans, who got obliterated by the Baltimore Ravens last week, 33 to 16. This game is 1 p.m. Eastern Sunday on CBS. The announcers are Ian Eagle and Charles Davis. This game will be seen on KHOU-TV in Houston and KDKA-TV in Pittsburgh, as well as in Austin, Dallas-Fort Worth, Jacksonville, Norfolk, Oklahoma City, Baltimore, San Antonio, Richmond, Tulsa, among major markets. Other cities getting this game include El Paso, Lubbock, Corpus Christi, Charleston, West Virginia, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, Harrisburg, Roanoke, Shreveport, and Rochester. The Steelers are favored at home by four, although I personally think this spread should be a lot higher than four points. The over-under is set at 45. Well, four point spread or not, I'm taking the Steelers 28 to 13. I also have Pittsburgh covering that four point spread and this game finishing under the total. All right, we're off to Foxborough now as the one and one New England Patriots, who put up a fight against the Seattle Seahawks last Sunday night and losing 35 to 30, they return home to Gillette Stadium to host. Derek Carr and the 2-0 Las Vegas Raiders. Yes, you heard me. The 2-0 Las Vegas Raiders. Fresh off a of Monday night's victory over Drew Brees and the Saints. This game is Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern on CBS. The announcers will be Jim Nance and Tony Romo. This game will be broadcast on KLAS-TV in Las Vegas and WBZ in Boston, as well as the following markets. Colorado Springs, Denver, Albuquerque, Hartford, Kansas City, Miami, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Little Rock, Orlando, Phoenix, Providence, St. Louis, Portland, Oregon, Sacramento, Salt Lake City, Reno, San Francisco, Seattle, Tampa, St. Pete, Volcan, Boise, Billings, Montana, Eugene, Oregon, Fresno, Santa Barbara, Bakersfield, Honolulu, Tucson, Wichita, Topeka, Omaha, Baton Rouge, Jackson, Mississippi, Birmingham, Tallahassee, Fort Myers, West Palm Beach, Syracuse, Portland, Maine, Fairbanks, and Anchorage, Alaska. The Pats are the five-point favorites at home. The over-under is set at 47. I don't think the Patriots will lose this game, especially being at home, giving New England 28 to 20. I have them covering the five points, and this game finishing just over the 47. All right, staying in the Northeast, we travel to Orchard Park, where the 2 0 Buffalo Bills, who had their hands full with the Dolphins last week, but came away from South Beach victorious. They will host another 2-0 team in the Los Angeles Rams. Fresh off their 
defeating of the Philadelphia Eagles. In which Jarrett Goff threw three touchdown passes all to his tight end, Tyler Higbee. This is a 1 p.m. game on Sunday on Fox. Your announcers will be the three-man booth of Chris Myers, Greg Jennings, and Brock Heward. KTTV in Los Angeles and WUTV in Buffalo will air this game as well as the local Fox affiliates in Boston, Colorado Springs, Denver, Las Vegas, San Diego, Miami, Phoenix, Providence, St. Louis, Salt Lake City, Seattle, Tucson, Spokane, Boise, Anchorage, Fairbanks, Honolulu, Billings, Montana, Rochester, Syracuse, Portland, Maine, and West Palm Beach. All right, the Bills favored by two and a half, over under 47 and a half. This is going to be a fun game. I think Buffalo's ground attack will struggle against that stout LA front seven anchored by Aaron Donald. But either way, I think Buffalo will win this game 27 to 23. I have the Bills covering the two and a half points and this game finishing over the 47 and a half. All right. The one and one San Francisco met the one and one San Francisco 49ers who are at the Meadowlands on Sunday and hammering the New York Jets and losing some key players along the way. Among them, quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. Who suffered a high ankle sprain. He is, he is being listed as week to week. So he may play this week. And he may not. We don't know. Um, running back Raheem Mostert. Suffered an MCL sprain. And will more than likely not play for the Giant, for the Niners. Against the Giants this week. And then the big blow coming with linebacker Joey Bosa. Being lost for the season with a tore ACL. Anyway, the Niners return to the Meadowlands to play New York's other team, the aforementioned Giants. The um, Niners again beat the Jets in their first trip to New York last week. Even with all those injuries, they still won 31 to 13, while the Giants hung in there against the Bears but came up a few points short, losing 17 13 in Chicago. Niners and Giants is 1 p.m. Eastern on Fox. The announcers are Kevin Burkhart and Daryl the Moose Johnston. This game will air on KTVU and WNYU or WNYW, the local Fox affiliates in both San Francisco and New York. This game will also air on the local Fox stations in Portland, Oregon, Sacramento, Reno, Fresno, Bakersfield, Albany, Hartford and Scranton Wilkesbury. The Niners are favored in this game by three and a half, and that pretty much has to do with all the injuries that they're going through right now. Over under is set at 41 and a half. Again, the injuries playing a key role in the over under total as well. But despite all these injuries to their big name players, I'm still going to take the 49ers to win this game 28 to 10. I got them covering the three and a half points in this game, finishing under the total. All right. Next up, we go to Minneapolis. As the 2-0 Tennessee Titans, who held on last week at home against Jacksonville, they traveled to U.S. Bank Stadium to face Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings, who were god-awful Sunday in Indianapolis. The Vikings were held to 11 points and 175 yards of total offense. That's terrible. Um, this game is Sunday at 1 o'clock Eastern Time on CBS. The announcers will be Andrew Catalan and James Lofton. All right, WTVF Nashville and WCCO Minneapolis St. Paul. Are the main CBS affiliates airing this game. As well as Detroit, Grand Rapids, 
Memphis, Milwaukee, Green Bay, Des Moines, Duluth, Fargo, Bismarck, Sioux City, Cedar Rapids, the Quad Cities, Peoria, Illinois, Knoxville, Chattanooga, Tupelo, Mississippi, Huntsville, Alabama, Flint, Michigan, Toledo, Ohio, and Great Falls, Montana, who was switched to this game. The um, local CBS affiliate in Great Falls originally was going to broadcast the Raiders game with the Patriots, but instead was switched to the Titans and Vikings. Tennessee is the road favorite in this game by two and a half points over under set of 49 and a half. I don't think that's it's gonna be that much of a high scoring game, especially how bad the Viking offense looked against the Colts last week. Now I'm gonna take Tennessee to win this one 24-14 and cover the two and a half points. This game will finish well under the 49 and a half point total. And then the last of the early games on Sunday, you've got the Washington football team who lost 30 to 15. In Arizona against Kyler Murray and the Cardinals. Their road trip continues into Cleveland as they face Baker Mayfield and the 1-1 one one Cleveland Browns. Who a week ago tonight defeated the Cincinnati Bengals in a shootout for their first one of the season. This is Sunday at 1 o'clock Eastern Time on Fox. Your announcers are Kevin Kugler and Chris Spielman. In addition to this game being broadcast on WTTG in Washington and WJW in Cleveland, this game will also be seen in Cincinnati, Columbus, Dallas-Fort Worth, Albuquerque, Austin, Houston, Little Rock, Norfolk, Oklahoma City, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Richmond, San Antonio, Baltimore, Tulsa, El Paso, Amarillo, Lubbock, Corpus Christi, Dayton, Toledo, Harrisburg, Charleston, West Virginia, Raleigh, Durham, Greensboro, Winston-Salem, Roanoke, and Harrisburg. The Browns come into this game favored by 7. The over-under is set at 45 points. I have Cleveland winning this game 21-17, but I think Washington will keep it close. So I have them covering the 7, and this game will finish under the 45. Alright, now to the late games. There are 5 of them. The first two games will begin at 4.05 Eastern Time, and both games will be aired on CBS. The first game we'll look at is the 0-2 Carolina Panthers who got whooped by the Tampa Bay Bucks as expected last week. And of course losing Christian McCaffrey for 4-6 to six weeks does not do him any favors either. They travel out to LA to face the Los Angeles Chargers who had a change of quarterback, who had a change at quarterback prior to kickoff. As rookie Justin Herbert was inserted as the starter last Sunday against the Chiefs. And he played very well in Tyrod Taylor's absence. And more on Tyrod Taylor in a second. Um, This game is at 4.05 Eastern Sunday on CBS. The announced team will be Greg Gumbel and Rich Gannon. This game will air on WBTV Charlotte and KCBS TV. Los Angeles, as well as in Atlanta, Raleigh Durham, Washington, D.C., San Diego, Greensboro, Winston Salem, Greenville, Spartanburg, Columbia, South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, Charleston, South Carolina, and Augusta, Georgia. All right, the Chargers are favored by six and a half over under set at 44. I'm taking the Chargers. 24 to 13, because without McCafferty in that backfield for Carolina, they don't have a chance. I have LA covering the six and a half points and this game finishing under the 44. Now, getting back to Tyrod Taylor, he was scratched just minutes before kickoff last week against the Chiefs after he took an injection in his ribs. It was written, it was written officially in the 
Chargers injury report as a chest injury, but it's technically his ribs, but you get the idea. But we'll see if Tyrod Taylor starts on Sunday against Carolina. If not, they'll probably go back to Justin Herbert. All right, the next game is the 0-2 New York football Jets. Visiting the 1-1 one one Indianapolis Colts. The Jets were beaten soundly by an injury-riddled 49ers squad. While the Colts made mince meat out of the Minnesota Vikings. Again, winning that game 28-11 and only holding Minnesota's offense to 175 yards. This is the other 4.05 Eastern Time kickoff on CBS. The announcers are Kevin Harlan and Rich Gannon. Oh, I take that back. That should be Kevin Harlan and Trent Green. I don't know why I read down Rich Gannon. He's the um, color commentator with Greg Gumbel for the Panthers and Chargers. But anyway. Um... This game will be aired on WCBS-TV in New York and on WTTV in Indianapolis, as well as the local CBS stations in Buffalo, Chicago, Albany, South Bend, Fort Wayne, Evansville, and Louisville. So not a big coverage area for this game. The Colts have the largest point spread on the board in Week 3. They're favored at home by 11.5 points. Over under set at 44. And this is going to be a bludgeoning, folks. Give me the Colts all day in this one. 31-7. They'll cover the 11.5 points with ease. But this game will finish under the 44 points. Because the Jets' offense is trash. Just like their defense is trash. In fact, the entire Jets' team is trash. All right, enough... Enough about me talking about how bad the Jets are. Let's move on to our next game. And this is the first of three games in part two of Fox's doubleheader. And these pit playoff contenders in the NFC as the one and one Dallas Cowboys, who had to move heaven and earth last week to erase a 20 point deficit. And beat the Atlanta Falcons on a last second field goal, 40-39. They traveled to Seattle to face Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. Who, who are coming off a 5.1 win on Sunday night against New England. In which Russell Wilson, MVP candidate by many, threw five touchdown passes to five different receivers. Red Noel. This is the first 425 Eastern Time game on Sunday on Fox. And this team and this game has the best announced team. Joy Joy Buck. Joe Buck and Troy Aikman. <laughs> yeah, who's Joe Joy Buck? Anyway. KDFW TV, Dallas Fort Worth, and KCPQ, Seattle Tacoma. Are the two main Fox stations broadcasting this game. Other major markets getting this game include the following. Austin, Baltimore, Charlotte, Chicago, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Columbus, Houston, Indianapolis, Little Rock, Los Angeles, Louisville, Memphis, Green Bay, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Nashville. New Orleans, Oklahoma City, Omaha, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Portland, Oregon, Raleigh, Durham, Richmond, Norfolk, St. Louis, Sacramento, San Antonio, San Diego, San Francisco, Tulsa, Washington, D.C., and those are just the major markets. Well, other markets getting this game include Spokane, Boise, Eugene, Oregon, Fresno, Bakersfield, Santa Barbara, El Paso, Amarillo, Lubbock, Corpus Christi, Shreveport, Baton Rouge, Jackson, Mississippi, Tupelo, Mississippi, Birmingham, Knoxville, Greenville, Spartanburg, 
Columbia, South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, Charleston, South Carolina, Charleston, West Virginia, Roanoke, Virginia, Harrisburg, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, Rochester, New York, Syracuse, Albany, Dayton, Fort Wayne, Peoria, Illinois, Springfield, Illinois, the Quad Cities, Madison, Duluth, Fargo, Bismarck, and Wichita. Big coverage area. So about 80% of the country will be getting this game. All right, Seattle's favorite at home by five. The over-under is 55 and a half, and that's the largest over-under total on the board this week. I have Seattle winning 31-28, but I got Dallas covering the five points because I think that Prescott has the offense to keep this game close. And I kind of don't trust Seattle's secondary to an extent either. All right. And I have this game finishing over the 55 and a half points. Next up, the 0-2 Detroit Lions. They got jack stomped by the Green Bay Packers Sunday at Lambeau Field, losing 42-21. And that's after they led 14-3 at one point. They traveled to State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona to face Kyler Murray and the undefeated Arizona Cardinals. Off to their first 2-0 start since 2015, the year they went all the way to the NFC Championship game. Anyway... Arizona led pretty much wire to wire against the Washington football team last week and winning 30 to 15. This is at 425 Eastern time on Fox. The announced team is Dick Stockton and Brady Quinn. In addition to this game airing on both WJBK in Detroit and KSAZ in Phoenix. This game is also airing in Tucson, Grand Rapids, and Flint. So pretty much every Fox station in Michigan and Arizona will be getting this game, as well as South Bend, Indiana, and Toledo, Ohio. Arizona's favorite at home by 5.5 over under a set at 55, giving the Cardinals 31-24. I have Arizona covering the 5.5 points. And I got this game finishing right at the 55-point total. And then the final Sunday afternoon game of the week is Tom Brady and the 1-1 one one Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Fresh off of Sunday's home opening win over the Carolina Panthers. They traveled to Denver, which has been a house of horrors for Tom Brady, to face the injury-riddled Denver Broncos. Now, Drew Locke, their starting quarterback, is out with an injury this week, and it looks like they'll be using their backup once again. All right, the Broncos coming into this game 0-2 and coming off a 26-21 loss in Pittsburgh. This is the final 425 game on Fox. The announcers will be Adam Amin and... Former Bronco Mark Schlereth. This game will be broadcast on Fox Affiliates WTVT in Tampa, St. Petersburg and KDVR in Denver. As well as the local Fox stations in Atlanta, Boston, Albuquerque, Colorado Springs, Jacksonville, Kansas City, Las Vegas, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, Reno, Salt Lake City, Billings, Montana, Sioux Falls, Topeka, Cedar Rapids, Evansville, Augusta, Georgia, Savannah, Tallahassee, Fort Myers, West Palm Beach, Hartford, Portland, Maine, and Providence. Okay. The Bucks are favored on the road by six. Over under is 43 and a half. But giving Tom Brady's struggles in Denver. He does not play well in that high elevation. And he usually loses in Denver. But I got them winning this one. But it'll be very, very close. I think Vic Vangio will draw up a great defensive scheme to keep TB12 honest. Alright, so I got Tampa Bay winning 20-16. to But I have Denver covering the 6 points. And this game finishing under the 43 total. 
All right. Now we come to Sunday night football. This week, it's the 2-0 Green Bay Packers, the league's number one offense, the league's number one scoring offense as well, traveling to New Orleans to face Drew Brees and the Saints, who were just completely shut down the second half in their loss to the Raiders in Vegas on Monday night. While the Packers steamrolled the Lions. All right, this game is Sunday night at 8.20 on NBC. The announcers will be Mike Tirico in this week for Al Michaels. And then Chris Collinsworth will be alongside Mike Tirico. All right. The Saints are favored at home by three. The over-under is 52 and a half. But even with the home field advantage, I'm just not trusting the Saints defense especially their secondary i think aaron aaron Rodgers has ripped apart pretty much every secondary he's faced whether it's the minnesota vikings he totally exposed them and the detroit lions last week i think he'll do the same to these new orleans covers so yeah marcus Ladmore in that secondary they'll have a very long night give me green bay in this one 31 23 I have Green Bay covering the three points as the road underdog in this game, finishing over the 52 and a half points. And finally, we come to Monday Night Football. And perhaps the game of the year and perhaps a preview of the AFC Championship game if these two make it this far. As the defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs, led by Super Bowl 54 MVP and 2018 NFL MVP winner Patrick Mahomes, traveled to Baltimore to face last year's reigning NFL MVP Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Oh, by the way, these teams are 1-2 on my power rankings. And those drop on Tuesdays during my review shows. So listen for those on Tuesdays. All right. The Chiefs looked kind of lethargic last week against the Chargers, falling behind 17-6, but then rallying the force overtime and then win it on a 58-yard field goal by Harrison Buckner. With about six minutes left, as the Chiefs escaped LA with a 23 21. Meanwhile, the Ravens had no problems with the Texans winning in Houston 33 16. Baltimore is favoring in this monster game by three points over under set at 54. And I think it's going to come down to who has the better defense because we know both the offenses are solid. But whoever has the better defense will win this game. And I think that's the Ravens. Especially adding pieces like Calais Campbell and others. So I got Baltimore winning this game 34-28 and covering the three points. And I have this game finishing over the 54 points. So there's my week three preview again. So sorry for being Late with it this week. Had a lot of things happen over the past, say, not even 24 hours. More like the past three or four hours that prevented me from getting anything done. But the week three preview is now in the books. Join me again on Tuesday for the week three review when we run down all 16 of these games, including the monster Monday night showdown with the Chiefs and Ravens. And before I go... Make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell twice, and get notified every time I drop a vid. Anyway, Big Al signing off. I gotta get ready to watch the Dolphins and Jags. Have a great weekend and enjoy the pigskin. Peace out.